Some questions about entering data. So when you're in StatCrunch, you hit open StatCrunch. And you can just type the data. Um, so O positive, A positive. Um, what, let's do it in order. B, A, B. And then we have all the negative blood types. Um, and then what you're going to do is you click up here to rename it. So maybe blood type, right? Give it a name. And then we'll go ahead and type frequency in the second column is what I said. So 17, 18, 9. Right? Just data entry, something you'll probably do in the future at any job, surprisingly. So that's how we enter data. And then you can follow the steps to make graphs and all that. Um, when we get to number two, you have to enter the data as well. So you can just go ahead and enter it into VAR3 or VAR4, it doesn't matter. Just kind of ignore the blood type and then monthly rent, type the data. 2300, right? I'm not going to type it all. That's how you do it and follow the steps for graphs. If you want to open a new StatCrunch window, you can just go back to StatCrunch. You should probably, you'll probably have another tab open. Um, and you just hit open StatCrunch and it opens another one if you want another one. Open StatCrunch. So I have lots of StatCrunches open now. Um, and then when you get to the third one, you're just going to go ahead and click on the serials data and it's going to open another one for you. And you can just use this window to make the last one. Right? It's okay to have multiple windows open because we're going to copy all the results into Google Docs. So I hope that answers questions about entering data. Um, it's, I have a ton of stat crunches open. It doesn't matter. Just close them all. But yeah, open stat crunch is how we'll get a new one. And yeah, copy everything over to Google Docs. And good luck on the tech project. Um, email me any questions.